What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you um, a mod that I figured out um, for a blowgun. It could be any blowgun, um, but the mod is that you, when you tip your um, um, blowgun with an arrow inside of it, like all the way pushed in, ready to fire, when you um, like put it, I don't know what this is, straight up, or you put it at an angle to shoot downwards, it won't come out because there's a magnet and that magnet keeps the arrow from um, going out before you blow on it. So I just blew my, um, my dart out. So that was that noise. But um, you can use any magnet. I got a... Um, two neodymium magnets as you see one is broken here which is this top one and then a full one right here and like the pull pounds on the full one is like four and four something pounds so when the when one of them broke apart I thought that would be better um, because it's half of the original pull pounds which is like now it's like two something um, pull force so that's even easier to blow out um, without struggling. And when you when you put when you do this mod, you'll see how you do it later. But when you do it, you want to make sure you have it up closer to the mouthpiece. Um, like I try to put it right here, and it was really hard to um, blow the dart out. So I removed this grip um, and slid a magnet under there, the half of a magnet. And I don't know if you can see that bump right there. That is where the magnet is. Uh, it's out of focus, but you can see that bump. Um, but that's where the magnet is. And uh, it works really great. So, like, when I'm hunting with it, uh, it doesn't fall out. <clears throat> but if you don't have a foam grip, um, and you can go buy these grips. They're like a dollar each. But mine came on them. And these neodymium magnets cost about three bucks um, online. I got mine on eBay. And when it came shipped, the second one was broken. So I used that. Um, but if you don't have a grip, I'm going to show you how you can do it by just um, keeping it on there. You can glue it on there, which I don't recommend because you won't be able to move it. Or you can get some cord. This is paracord. Um, and just do like a clove hitch <laughs> and as you see you have a clove hitch right there I don't know if you can see that clearly but there is a clove hitch uh, if you want to see a clove hitch just click the link displaying now and then you uh, once you have the cord wrapped around the pole, I mean, once you have the hitch on there, you want to wrap the cord real tight um, around the blowgun. So, if I can do this on camera, you just want to wrap it. And then once you got it to where you want the magnet to be on, on top, then you take your magnet, so I'm going to take um, this half magnet, if I can take them apart, they're really strong. And now I'll do the full one, just to show you guys. So you want to put, um, if the magnet doesn't stay inside your, um, I mean on top of your blowgun, then you want to put the magnet on top of a dart inside of there and then then once you have the magnet on there you want to wrap around there and it's kind of hard because it's round let me zoom in and this is going to be hard on camera but you just wrap around it so you go wrap on top <laughs> I 
and you want to keep it real tight. And it might not be pretty, so you might want to go back around two times if you want uh, it to look good. Sorry for that focus. And then once you get to the end, when your cord ends, or whenever you want the cord to end, then you can just do another clove hitch um, by that link that was displaying earlier. <laughs> but, so as you see, the magnet is right there, and um, if you didn't have, if I didn't have a foam grip, I would want it almost all the way up to my mouthpiece, so it would be less pressure to blow out of it, to blow um, into the gun, um, because if it's further in the shaft, then it will be hard to get the dart out. So let's see. See, that's way too hard. That's like four or five. That's six pounds holding the dart. Um, there we go. So it just dropped out there um, because I don't want it. But that's that's it. Uh, just attaching a magnet to your blowgun is as simple as that you can wrap it around or put it in a foam grip now the way I did the foam grip was um, I took it off and I opened the one end of the grip with my pointer and then at the other end I placed like I was holding it like this and then I placed a magnet under there and then I pushed my finger in farther until it was under the magnet then I open this, the far end, onto the um, tube and then just pushed it on, keeping the magnet on top and not letting it go inside. And that's it. That's how I attached it with the foam. And it's barely noticeable. You don't feel, that, feel it at all. Um, so that's it. If you have any questions, just comment down below or send me a message. Um, please like this video and subscribe. Everybody have a nice day. See y'all later.